Hey viewers, this is just an overview of the upcoming uh, limit pushing videos. There will be seven of them, one for each motor. These are all sewing machine motors that I am going to uh, overvolt and push to their limits driving the treadmill motor. Um, I'm just going to, this video is just going to be short. I'm just going to go over um, what each one is and what their no load RPM is and uh, that sort of thing. So first up, we got this, I don't know what brand it is, but uh, you can see there. Sewing motor, YDK, YM-40LR, 0.75 amps, made in Japan, uh, 115, 125 volts, 50, 60 cycles, input 80 watts, two pole. Um, I've removed the fan, the cooling fan, from every single one of these. So they don't have any active cooling anymore. So, with their, at 120 volts, there are no load speed. This one was 21,000. Before, with the fan, it was 18,900. Um, next up, just another generic sewing motor. Made for the Brothers Incorporated. This one is 1.05 amps, 15, 115 volts, 60 cycles, um, no load speed. With the fan in it was 17,700. Now that I've removed the fan is 18,500. Next up is a Singer sewing motor. 120 volts, 0 0.8 amps, 60 hertz. Um, when I had the fan, 15,100 RPMs. Without the fan, 16,700 RPMs. Next up is just another generic sewing motor. Made in Taiwan, 0 0.5 amps, 120 volts. Uh, I don't know what this was before I took the, bla the fan blade out, but now it's at 19,200. Um, next up is a Kenmore sewing motor. There we go, 115 volts, 125 volts, uh, 0 0.7 amps. Kenmore Sears Canada Inc. made in Taiwan. Um, without its fan, 23,100 RPMs. It's another generic one. I don't have any, there's no info on this one. There's no tag. But uh, before I took his fan out, it was 17,800 RPMs. With, now this fan is gone, 21,000. And last up is an older one. Quite old, actually. It's an SMP sewing, mach sewing machine motor or a shoe machine motor, but this was in a sewing machine. It is 0 0.5 amps, 110 volts AC DC. Um, made in Canada for Shoe Machine Parts Limited Toronto. Uh, this one is rather slow, only 13,000 RPMs. And um, so uh, stay tuned for the next seven videos where I overvolt each one of these to their absolute limits. If you wish to wager a guess at which one you want to win, go ahead, by all means. Thanks for watching.